morning or whenever you see this on today's episode we're uh working in a commercial uh office building i don't normally do commercial it's just strictly residential but this is for my accountant uh, they've always taken care of me and i'll uh, show you we're going to be replacing a uh, downflow furnace and an air conditioner stay tuned and i'll show you what's going on today <laughs> Here's the furnace. Um, it's an older downflow ream furnace. Uh, we're going to be putting a. It's going to be a B width cabinet and a downflow Armstrong. We're going to have to make an adapter and then rehook up to the existing B vent. Um, it's kind of tight in here. Um, kind of worried about here getting that out, but we should be able to be all right with that. Here's the air conditioner. Uh, Ream 410A. Um, motors rusted out due to this walkway. Uh, they just basically shove out salt in the winter time. Uh, we're gonna be raising in the existing line set and then wrapping it with some uh, protective coating. Um, that way it protects everything. So we'll get you some shots throughout the day and stay tuned.
and unfortunately I had video of me making that uh, filter rack set up and video of the outdoor unit working on that and brazing and all that stuff but I lost all that video I had probably seven or eight shots of different shots of everything and I lost it so I do apologize for not giving you all the content you deserve, but I'll do better next time. I'm a big fan of things that make my life easier, like using this Milwaukee pipe cutter. It's awesome. It's time to deburr the copper pipe with a deburring tool. That's what I'm doing here. I know I should be using regular wet rag, but I got a bunch of it. I've used it in the past. It's just, to me, it's messy. And um, I got extra towels, so this will work just fine. Now keep in mind, I haven't used the oxyacetylene torch kit in about 15 to 18 years, so I'm relearning all this. So don't roast me too bad when you start seeing me braise with this, okay?
Nothing with queens. Not quite right. Ah. Still trying to dial this in. Leave it in the comments comment section below if I need to adjust anything. If the flame doesn't look right to you, I have the oxy or acetylene set to about five and the oxygen set to about ten. Um, if you can give me some uh, tips on what I need to adjust, what do I need to do? It's like I said, it's been a minute since I've done this uh, with the oxyacetylene setup, so. We're here to help each other out, and that'd be great. I'd be so grateful. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm done. I have updates. 
So, got the lines brazed, got the evacuation pump on. This thing's only been running for about five minutes. We're down to 127. Um, it's almost, it's, uh, it's about five, 10 after five. And uh, be back tomorrow to finish up a little bit of metal in the furnace room. I'll show you that real quick. All right. So this turned out good. I still got to make this. We're supposed to get some storms tomorrow, so I wanted to get the everything the AC all hooked up. Um, lines are all done finally, obviously because I'm pumping down outside and still got to do the drain yet. We'll do that in the morning, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Updates. Finally done. I still got to get a filter yet, but I made this little slide. Slides open, slides closed. I even got my new labels for my filters. You scan angles right to my website, and people, the customers, can order the filters right off my website. Dropship. And there's a size, easy peasy. Dropship right to the door, free shipping. Um, everything turned out good. Had to do a little cacking to seal everything up. And uh, yeah, what was in there before was a, a 21 wide, and that was actually an opening for a 17 or 16 and a half. So we did a 17 and a half uh, B with cabinet. That worked out good. So I'll uh, I'll take it to the outside. All right, here's the outdoor unit. Three and a half ton Armstrong. I had Tyler um, wrap the old line set just because when they in the winter time you can see this wood is just rot, just rot. Look at the electrical. That's just uh, great. So we wrapped this so everything's protected from the salt, and uh, it turned out nice. Got my sight glass in there I'm gonna come back and do a do some testing um, waiting on a filter and then uh, but yeah 
if you uh, got any value out of this content smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing it really helps the channel out and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.